nutty popped lentils make a great snack, and they're a delicious addition to granola and a tasty topping for salads, dips, and yogurt. Let me show you how easy it is to prepare popped lentils in a skillet. Heat a skillet with canola oil and add your cooked whole green lentils. Swirl the pan around and toss the lentils in the oil. The lentils will start to sizzle and pop. When the lentils are crispy, drain them on paper towels. This process should take about five minutes. You can season with salt if desired. Now, let's use our lentils in this wonderful Burmese tea leaf and popped lentil salad. To ferment the tea leaves, pour four cups of hot water over the dried tea leaves, stir, and let this soak until the leaves are quite soft, which is about 10 minutes. Drain and squeeze out any remaining liquid from the tea leaves and repeat this twice more. Next, add cold water and let this stand for an hour. This longer soak helps to remove the bitter taste. Drain and squeeze the tea leaves thoroughly to remove any excess water. Chop the leaves finely and mix them together with finely chopped ginger, garlic paste, salt, and lime juice. Cover the dish tightly and allow it to ferment untouched for two days in a cool space. I made these fermented tea leaves with store-bought green tea. To make the salad, heat canola oil in a pan and add the garlic cloves, toasting until lightly brown. Remove and reserve the oil. To make the dressing, mix the garlic oil with fish sauce and lime juice and set this aside. Here, I've rehydrated some dried shrimp in water and drained them. Now that I have all my components ready, I'm going to put this salad together. Arrange the cabbage, green onions, peanuts, shrimp, tomatoes, popped lentils, sesame seeds, chilies, and fermented tea leaves with the toasted garlic around a plate. To serve, drizzle the dressing over the top. Toss the salad at the table for your guests to enjoy. Find this recipe and more videos from this series at ciaprochef.com forward slash lentils.